Okay, so um, probably the first thing some of you will be interested in who haven't heard any of my story before is why I got interested in nutrition so much in the first place. Um, it certainly wasn't the field I thought I'd be interested in at this stage of my life. I, I loved my obstetrics. I loved um, oncology. I spent some time working in that field. I did also some general practice and in the end ended up in emergency medicine working as a career medical officer here in um, mostly in Wyong, but around the place as well on the Central Coast, because um, I just love that hands-on side of medicine. But um, back to when I, or oh, I'd only been working for about five or six years, when my mum was not particularly well, and I suggested all sorts of medical treatments that really were not doing anything. Um, and so she heard about Manatech and started taking the supplements, and... Um, the difference in her was was phenomenal. I was incredulous, and um, especially because at first I started telling her that it would just produce expensive urine, it was a waste of her money. So I had to start studying into it, and over the 12 months or so it took me to study around work, um, I became totally convinced that this is a, a different class of nutritional supplements from anything I'd ever heard of before. Um, that there is genuine scientific research behind these ones and that's the reason why people's health seems to improve. And so being convinced with the changes in my mum's health, I then started taking the supplements myself. Um, I have seen changes in many people's lives because of it. So I'm here tonight to explain the science behind how it works and, and how this got me interested. So why do we supplement? Um, it's interesting to note that even though most doctors tend to feel that it's unessential, unnecessary and a waste of money, way back in 2002 in the Journal of the American Medical Association, um, a study showed that most people do not consume an optimal amount of all vitamins by diet alone. It appears prudent for all adults to take vitamin supplements. So that was quite a statement to be made. Why is this necessary? Why can't we just eat? and get all our nutrition from our food. Well, if we compare our current diet with diets in the past, um, back say 50 or 100 years ago, people ate a very small percentage of their diet as grains, and even then it was whole grains, and they ate mostly root, vegetables, roots, fruits, nuts, um, I guess meats as well. Whereas compared to now, we have 60% of our diet is refined grains, not even whole grains, only 20% vegetables and that if you're lucky. Um, and a large amount of refined sugars in our diet that are hidden in so many of the things that we eat. So why do we need to supplement? We just simply don't eat the nutrients that our bodies are designed for. How about a good diet? If I, if I say, all right, I'm going to do my best to eat a good diet, well, what does that mean? Um, a good diet is one that minimises the probability of illness. That definition was set back in the 1940s when they came up with the minimum daily requirements of different vitamins and minerals. And they found that you would need five to seven servings of fruits and vegetables a day to achieve these required daily allowances of vitamins and minerals. Well, Back in 2017, a study was done here in Australia finding that four out of five Australians don't have the five to seven servings of fruits and vegetables. So that's 80% of people don't do this. Well, if you don't even do that, then in 2000, foods were again tested for nutrition like they had been back in the 1940s. And they found that to get the necessary antioxidants, now you would have to eat double that requirement of fruits and vegetables. So 10 to 14 servings. If we're struggling to eat 5 to 7, how are we going to eat 10 to 14? Um, if any of you know how to wave at me with your little wave button, can you see if any of you actually do that, does anyone here eat 10 to 14 servings a day? Um, so why does our food have this change in the amount of vitamins and minerals? It's because our soils are depleted. It's because our food is harvest green a lot of the time. And then there's a long time on the back of a truck or an aeroplane or however it gets to us from when it's picked until when it's eaten. So those reasons, for those reasons, our food is depleted in nutrition to begin with. And then on top of it, we don't actually need to eat as much volume of food anyway. So we're eating less nutrition because we're sitting down all day and not exercising a lot. So another factor in our diet is toxins. 
In our environment, there are over 10,000 synthetic chemicals like plastics and plasticizers, paints and dyes and, and all the, um, the things we put on our food, the pesticides and herbicides as well. Um, so they're in our environment. In our home, there are also even more toxins than are outdoors. Um, for some reason, there's some other it's noise coming through on my phone. I'm not sure what's happening there. If somebody's doing some cooking in the background, maybe we could stop. Sorry, um, Amanda, that was, I've just muted the individual. I do apologise. <laughs> no, no worries. Thanks, James. <laughs> That's all right. I was doing it before, wasn't I, turning off the pot? So toxins are everywhere. They've, less than a third of them have been actually tested for adverse effects on humans. Um, so there's so much there that we don't even know about what we're putting into our bodies these days. Um, and they've been found everywhere. Even if you say you live in a nice, healthy um, environment that's, um, you know, like you're not in the middle of Sydney or somewhere, well, these toxins are in penguins in Antarctica and fish in all the waterways tested um, and under the North Pole. So we really can't escape them. And I'll come back to these further on when we talk about one of our, our supplements in particular. Um, it's interesting that areas of high toxin exposure on the maps in the States correlate with increased death rates. So you are more likely to die earlier and of degenerative disease or cancer if you're exposed to lots of toxins. So if um, we're living in toxic, nutrient-depleted um, lives, well, what should we do about it? I believe that supplements are one of the answers to improving our health here. These supplements that we need are, diet, are natural food-based products that are intended to replace something expected but deficient or missing from the food chain. So what do we need to supplement? What do you need to supplement? Obviously the ones that are missing for you, but for many nutrients we don't have simple tests. You can't simply go and test if you need more vitamin C or more magnesium or even more calcium. You've got to wait until you have adverse effects from disease caused by lack of those nutrition, nutritional supplements. Um, so we need to supplement everything missing um, that's potentially an issue for us. So I recommend taking a broad spectrum sort of a, an approach. And taking something from each missing group. What are these groups that you need? Obviously we're eating our protein and carbohydrates and fats. They're essential for our energy levels and, and other things but the ones I'm specifically talking to about tonight will be the vitamins and minerals. They're catalysts and synergists to all nutritional factors. You can't use a lot of um, nutrition if you don't have these vitamins and minerals as cofactors in biochemical reactions. There's phytonutrients and antioxidants um, that are also essential. The glycanutrients are the fascinating field of research that I only came across for the first time when mum introduced me to them that, um, about 17 years ago. And they are essential for cell-to-cell -cell communication and immune support. And there's the phytosterols for hormonal support and general well-being. We could go on and on. We could talk about omega fatty acids. We could talk about so many different things, but they're the four categories I'm going to focus on tonight. Otherwise, we'll be here all night. So I want to give a bit of a disclaimer before I go further into Amanitech specific supplements and say that these products are food supplements which may supply missing nutrients. Um, when missing nutrients are provided, the body may be able to do amazing things. I'm not wanting anybody to go away thinking that I've said if you have cancer, this can cure it. Absolutely not. If you have any disease, the, these supplements will not cure it. But the body itself can do amazing things when it's provided with correct nutrition. And also, just as it takes months or years for a deficiency to show up as symptoms, so it takes time for the body to build new healthy cells. So if you start taking these supplements today and don't notice a difference next week or even next month, don't be surprised. It takes time for your body to return to health. So the first area I always like talking about the most is glycanutrients. Ambrotose is our 
patent a blend of these um, and we're allowed to say that it can help with immune system function and help with digestive function, help with cell to cell communication. It can enhance recall and recognition, so it improves your brain function and improves your mood and decreases irritability. Now these claims have been rigorously tested by the TGA in Australia. The TGA or the Therapeutic Goods Administration is very, very fussy about what it allows into Australia. You'll see many um, supplements sold in health food shops and even pharmacies that haven't been um, approved by the TGA. They're just sold separately, but Manatech have chosen to go through this rigorous testing so that we know these benefits actually are reasonable claims with science behind them. So let's look into these glyconutrients because a lot of you may never have heard of it before. The word glycoprotein or glycoproteins or glycans is a new word since about the 1960s and research has only started to come into this field since then. What are they? They are a coating of sugar that surrounds every cell in the body. Now, this is not sugar that you eat. It's sugars that are used for communication. So you'll see here that in the Biotechnology Journal, it said almost without exception, whenever two or more living cells interact in a specific way, cell surface carbohydrates will be involved. This is so important that they, they talk about it as the... Um, as being as important as the genome in your body. They call it the glycome. Um, and back in 1990, that's where our research was at on it. Over time, you'll see in these quotes getting further and further towards now, we're understanding more and more about them, almost without exception, whenever two or more living cells interact in a specific way, cell surface carbohydrates will be involved. Complex carbohydrates are essential in the correct functioning of the body's immune defences. Um, then we're discovering back in 1995 that these carbohydrates are really vital in any disease process. Um, they uh, serve as points of attachment for other cells, for bacteria, for viruses, toxins, hormones and other molecules. Um, I was doing some more research on this even today and reading another um, chapter out of a book called... Um, Oh, glycobiology, it was simply called glycobiology and saying how every single disease process has problems relating to these surface carbohydrates on the cells. Um, in 1996 was the first time this came out in a biochemistry textbook. Now, given that I graduated in 1997, I'd already finished studying bi biochemistry by the time this textbook came out. So unless your doctor is younger than me, they probably don't know about this if you're wondering why this isn't common knowledge. Um, so these eight sugars that are specifically used in the human body for communication in our cells are named here. Um, galactose, mannose, fucose, xylose, n glucosamine, N-acetylglactosamine and n acetylglucosamine acid. They are essential. So these sugars are used by the body as its language to say anything from as general as I'm human to I'm injured, send me help from the immune system. How does our body use these sugars to talk? Um, I'll just flick through these quotes because it takes so long. There's so much out there we could say about it, about it being the blueprint of life, a more complex alphabet than the genome. Um, and the letters of the alphabet are made of sugar. The medical potential of this is obviously enormous you only have to do a quick google search to to find more about that um back in 2003 it was labeled as one of the 10 emerging technologies that will change the world so how does this communication occur much like our english alphabet you'll see there are four shapes the long and the short straight line the long and the short curved line that make up every single letter in our alphabet well with the language of the body eight sugars in various combinations make up even more extensive vocabulary um, it's incredible how they're joined together linked together to create all of the communication that our body needs to to do 
what do we need to talk about? What do our cells talk about between each other? They need to be recognized as part of the human body. They need to sense, they need to be repaired. They need nutrition, they need regulation, sort of endocrine regulation. They'll need cleansing from toxins and um, byproducts that build up as they, um, as they are alive in our body. So how is this relevant to me? What difference can this make to me? Our diet contains only two of these eight sugars generally these days because of what we've talked about above with our um, nutrition depleted soils and even just the limited amount of foods we eat compared with what people ate years ago. We just don't eat the wide variety of roots and seeds and nuts and things we used to do. So if we are only eating two, how do we get the others? Well, our body has to manufacture them. It's extensive process to manufacture them is energy um, intense though you can see just some of the conversions here that are required to make some of the sugars it's very simplified it's not something you want your body spending a lot of time doing and in fact there are some genetic disorders where it's impossible for your body to create some of these sugars therefore those people are definitely going to have problems um, communication of their cells when it was discovered that there were these eight sugars that our body needed, there was a person in the States called Bill McAnally who was looking into the active ingredient in aloe vera. Um, he found that it's mannose, which is one of these active sugars that are used in our body. And he thought, wow, maybe that is why um, the aloe vera is um, such a, a good plant that's been used for years therapeutically maybe if we created a supplement and put the mannose from the aloe vera into it that would be useful so his train of thought started research into the use of mannose um, a lot of people poo-hooed this idea and they said well you know what um, we believe that your body is just going to use that mannose as nutrition um, as energy sorry it's not going to be used and incorporated directly into the cells for their communication. So somebody else did a study and they radioactively labelled several of the sugars and found that they were directly incorporated into glycoproteins without first being back broken down into glucose and used as energy. So this glucose theory is wrong um, and specific dietary sugars were proven to potentially represent a new class of nutrition. That's when Manatech um, got into it and realized that they could put all eight of them into all of eight of these sugars into a supplement and put them out on the market. Um, Manatec now has over 50 patents in different countries on their glyconutrient blend. So I'm sure those of you who have taken Ambrotose would agree with me that it's something that you don't want to be without. When you're on it, you know there's a difference in your health. The next one I wanted to talk about tonight in terms of the categories of nutrition is the phytosterols. Plant sterols are also something that you find will make a big difference to your health. Manatex plant sterol supplement is called PLUS. Um, it's based on the Mexican yam, that's where they get the plant sterols from. And these are used by the body for endocrine support. The benefits that are again TGI approved in Australia are that it can balance your immune, nervous and cardiovascular system. It can help support breast, prostate, bone and colon health, they enhance cellular communication. Um, it does also contain the patented Ambrotose complex in Manatex Plus. Plant sterols are substances in plants that are similar to hormones in the body and they act as a basis for hormone production. Phytosterols are converted in the liver to a form your body can use to produce hormones as needed. So all the hormones from things such as the DHEA or the anti-aging hormone through to your female and male hormones um, can all be um, made more easily by the body when they've got the phytosterol basis to work from. Why do we need to supplement these? Once again, our Western diet's very depleted in them. We get them from whole foods like brown rice, sesame and sunflower seeds, nuts and flaxseed and Mexican yam. If you're eating a diet that doesn't contain a lot of these, then you are best to supplement. Um, I certainly have noticed 
good symptoms in my life, particularly from the plus. You'll see even um, things like the sanitarium wheat bix now, they've got one that is la labelled as cholesterol lowering and it's got plant sterols in it. So the, the phytosterol benefit is becoming well known out there um, that it will improve your risk of heart disease, immune function, um, PMS symptoms, etc. Okay, so the next group of nutrition is vitamins and minerals. I think this is probably the most widely known um, area in terms of nutrition. Um, we know that they're essential in helping our bodies assemble healthy cells and we have a pretty good idea of symptoms of what happens to people when they're lacking. You know, if people are low in vitamin C, you'll have heard the story of the sailors who got scurvy, etc. Um, I found an interesting um, figure in the 1990 Australian Dietary Guidelines saying that the total cost of poor nutrition in Australia is more than $5 billion per year. This is back in 1990, so it's probably skyrocketed since then. Um, so our nutrition is really, really important and vitamins and minerals are a basis for that. Our Manatech supplement is called Catalyst. When you go through the specific ingredients, you'll see it's a very thorough, uh, very well thought out supplement. Um, it helps maintain a healthy, normal metabolic rate, energy levels, improve digestion, your immune system, etc. Um, helps to protect your body against the free radicals formed by pollution. Um, provides nutritional support for normal growth and development. And aids and assists in the maintenance of general well-being. It's formulated to strengthen bone and tissue in growing mature users so it's got a very good dose of calcium in it as well um, and these ingredients have been placed in a, a food matrix form so the body recognizes that it's food you'll find a lot of supplements that you buy from um, your pharmacy you know, stick them in a glass of water and um, tomorrow it'll look the same as it did today it doesn't just dissolve and it's not easy to absorb whereas um, catalyst is your body recognises it as food and it's easy for your body to absorb. One other interesting category is the antioxidants. We talked about toxins right at the beginning as a, one of the reasons we need to supplement and Manatech have looked into that and made a powerful formula that provides over twice the increase in oxidative stress protection as can be achieved from eating an additional five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. So you know how we um, talked at the beginning about how we need to double our intake of fruits and vegetables? Well, most of us can't eat that much. So take your Ambrotose AO and you will achieve twice the benefit in terms of antioxidants as you would have if you had eaten that extra servings of fruit and veggies. They've done some interesting research on humans using the Ambrotose AO, showing that one capsule twice daily increases the body's oxidative stress protection by 37%. They use a very um, specific test here called the ORAC AO um, test, measuring your, your blood before, by levels before and after having the supplement. Um, and they've proven that it, it scavenges both fat and water soluble free radicals, which is something that a lot of supplements don't do. Um, it's based on the Australian bush plum, which is a good thing for Australia, um, giving industry to people out west and up north. <laughs> and it's also got ambrotose, a lot of the brassicas, which we know are particularly healthy for us, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, kale, um, pawpaw, onion and garlic are all in ambrotose AO. Um, I think I, this is really recapping on what we talked about with antioxidants before, that Damage is done by free radicals in our body, um, caused by stress, cigarette smoking, alcohol, sunlight even, and pollution. And the damage they cause can become irreversible and lead to diseases such as heart disease, liver disease, cataracts, etc. And the antioxidants can help prevent this damage. So Ambrotose AO is a supplement very well worth taking. Well, you might say that's all very well for you, but um, it's my kids that need nutrition more than me. Well, we've got something for the kids. These are delicious. I guarantee you put them in the cupboard at home and um, kids won't want to stay away from them. So they've got a childproof lock on the lid. Um, uh, we use them as rewards here at home. They're not really considered as something they have to take. They're a special treat. They've got 
everything in them, all the veggies, fruits that kids don't normally like to eat along with our amber toes. Um, for mana bears, which is the recommended daily serving, contains a good amount of glyconutrients, the same as in two capsules of amber toes. People look at them and say, oh, they're coated in sugar. Well, it's only six grams of sugar per four mana bears. So it's the tiniest amount of sugar compared with what you get in lollies, which would be 21 grams per serving. So they really are good for you. There's no artificial sweeteners or flavours and they're gluten free. And also they are um, vegan. So that's wonderful. One of the things when I first started looking into Manatech and the supplements they produced that really impressed me was the company itself and the product quality that we have with Manatech. They really are a leader in the nutritional supplement industry with regards to safety and quality of their products. They inspect on site wherever their, um, their products are grown, for example, the aloe vera and the Brussels sprouts and broccoli and things, everything they they look at on site, they test the organoleptic, so all the pesticides and herbicide levels in them. Um, they grow organic where they can. Um, they inspect the packing sheds and places where the foods are brought to. Um, everything is sampled when it gets to Manatech for its active ingredients. So you know that when it says you've got, um, for example, 500 milligrams of calcium in a catalyst that it actually is there. Um, and they have a quality assurance team of biologists, chemists and technicians. In fact, their lab is so well regarded in the area that the Texas University sends their doctoral students there to do some of their research. Um, oh yes, here we go on this slide. It's um, state-of-the-art labs. Um, I haven't been there myself, but my parents have. Um, fascinating place to go. So back to that bit of a disclaimer that I said at the beginning, the products themselves don't cure anything. The body can heal itself often when given the right nutrition for many and various different challenges you may have. You, these supplements are worth taking as part of a lifestyle change, not aimed to target a specific problem, but aimed to improve your general health. Um, and of course, the simple thing at the end to get the benefit of any supplements, we must put them into the body. I don't know how many people I've talked to who say, this isn't doing anything for me. And I'll say, okay, so let's look into that. When did you start taking them? We look at the date they ordered. How many have you got left in the bottle? Well, you know, if you're only taking stuff every second day or every third day, you're not going to notice a difference. So swallow it and you will. Um, so I will leave it there and, um, if anyone has any questions, that's fine. Thanks, James. Amanda, you are amazing. You actually have to be quite possibly the best presenter I've heard. So relaxed, so easy to listen to. Um, I loved that so much. Now, if anyone has a question, uh, this is a perfect time to ask it. So all you have to do um, is in the chat box, add a question, or you can also in the Q&A section, ask the question there. On the, on, now, if you're listening to it on your phone or on your iPad, there's a, you should be able to find that, just tap the screen. So Franz asked Amanda, can I give Catalyst to my 11-year-old son? Definitely. Um, think about his size. You know, your 11-year-olds can range from a, uh, an adult size to still being a kid and um, give him a dose in proportion to that. So if he's a kid size, then I'd only give him one tablet twice a day. Or um, if he's an adult size, then you can go with the full dose. But definitely, yes, it's, it's for anybody who needs vitamins and minerals. They're not getting in a diet, which is all of us. Okay, awesome. That's perfect, Amanda. I actually have never heard that before. That's a really good way of putting it. Um, Janelle has asked, is there a product high in iron? Manatech doesn't have a high iron product in Australia for a simple reason, the TGA won't allow it. Okay, so um, I'm sure Manatech would probably be interested in doing so. I don't know if they have one in the States, but in Australia, supplements are, are very regulated. 
especially because iron is something that is actually deadly um, if taken in overdose. So that's why only pharmacies are allowed to sell high dose iron supplements. Does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense. I had no idea. Thank you. Okay. If, you if, if you have a child that gets a bottle of your ferrograd off the shelf and swallows them all, they'll die. <laughs> so, wow. um, yeah. Okay. I got that because that's right there. The next is Christine is asking, can the plus start to make people feel a little unwell when they start taking them? Okay, I think any change of nutrition in our body can cause what's called a cleansing reaction or a detox, however you want to describe it. Um, and you you may notice that simply because your body is starting to be able to get rid of toxins that are stored in the fat out of your body. So um, plus is one that is less likely to do so because you're supporting your endocrine health. I don't find many people have much of a problem with the plus. But Ambrotose and um, Ambrotose AO, um, particularly, if people have multiple health challenges or they have worked in an environment full of chemicals, for example, people spraying on farms, like um, perhaps around where James lives, you know, all those banana plantations are rather toxic, um, then I tend to tell them to start low and go slow. So start with maybe a quarter of what it says on the bottle and just work your way up over a few weeks to the amount that it says to take on the bottle. Um, so if you're noticing any, any problems, just start low, go slow, drink heaps of water um, and give your body a chance to detox along the way. Awesome, Amanda. Thank you. Uh, Janelle is asking, is Catalyst okay for pregnancy? Oh, yeah. I've done that five times. So definitely all my babies have been healthy. Um, <laughs> Um, it's really particularly good for pregnancy because not only is it high in the, the well, it gives you the normal um, supplement amount out of calcium, it's also got your required amount of folic acid and iodine. So that two um, nutrients that are particularly recommended in pregnancy um, for women. Obviously, if you have, have a high risk pregnancy um, in terms of risk of um, spina bifida or um, or of Down syndrome, then you need the even higher dose of folate, which you buy as a separate supplement. But for the average, normally fairly healthy person without genetic risks, then the dose of folate and iodine in Catalyst is great for pregnancy. Amanda, these are the best answers I've ever heard. I'm just letting you know, just I've never heard anyone answer our questions so succinctly and so powerfully i really appreciate it like this is amazing um if you have high iron content this is from pauline if i have iron high iron content how can i reduce high iron is there anything that menetic has that could help that i guess once again we need to be uh, noting here that we don't recommend these as products to cure any particular thing High iron in your body, if it's, um, I'm guessing here, due to something like polysuffine or vera, you may find that you actually, there's, there's no supplement is going to change that um, and lower your iron levels. You just do what the doctor says and you get bled regularly. Um, but if it's, if it's something related to toxin exposure or something like that, um, then you may find it improves. But... I wouldn't be recommending any particular supplement as an individual thing to improve an, uh, an individual condition, if you know what I mean. Sure, sure do. That's awesome. Um, um, okay. What would you take in the joints? Sorry, cut off a word there when you were speaking. What would you take for something? What would you take for swelling in joints? for swelling in joints. Once again, that's a specific um, a specific symptom that can be related to many, many different things in your body that can be related to inflammation in the joints um, from autoimmune disorders or you know, so many different things. Um, I would be wanting to reduce inflammation in my body. Um, and as we've talked about with um, 
all the various supplements above. They're not for specific conditions, but they will improve your body's immune system. So um, given that we can't measure what's missing in your system that's giving you problems with your joints, then you take some of everything and you work on um, what seems to work for you. And you don't expect miracles overnight. You just say, well, this problem um, has taken time to develop. I'm going to take time over finding a solution and gradually work through the various nutritional changes that you can possibly make till you find what what works for you love that I mean, obviously i guess there's bounce back there um but you like you said it, like dietary a lot of things with with inflammation i found people are eating a lot of inflammation food that they're carrying a weight do you think do you ever find that when they actually start to look after their intake it's not just just actually finding a supplement but actually look at okay am i eating my weight my sort of stuff do you find that can help as well sorry every now and then i'll lose a word or two but what i'm, I'm getting you say is is you have to watch your diet as well absolutely i'm not saying go down to maccas every night and throw in some supplements and hey you'll be right no way um look after your diet eat a wide variety of particularly your raw fruits and vegetables um and avoid the processed foods uh, anything that crinkles i used to say to these people who come into emergency and want a magic cure for their diabetic problems or their heart disease you know don't eat anything that crinkles um, when you buy the packet and that will improve your general health too so um look after your your full lifestyle um yeah yeah that's perfect amanda sorry my internet at home is pretty bad i do apologize uh, I saw a question come up, James, about whether you can take plus when people are on hormone um, blocking medications. So somebody mentioned tamoxifen there. Um, because plus is not a hormone itself, it is not a drug, all it is is the precursor from food that your body can use to create the hormones it needs. It is perfectly safe. It is not um, a, an estrogen type um medication so for the for the person who was wondering that yes it is safe to take with someone with breast cancer or any other um hormone sensitive cancer um it will just give your body the precursor to make for example the dhea that those people with cancer need so much more of they need they need their anti-aging and mood stabilizing <laughs> hormones to be really good so yep they're safe Wonderful. Is Amber Toast okay for a three-year-old? <laughs> I've given it to my eight-month-old, so definitely, yes. My kids, by the time they're three, they love it. My, in fact, my three-year-old, <laughs> I have to put it up on YouTube. She comes into, I mean, on, on Facebook, she comes into the kitchen when I'm having mine and she says, Amber Toast, life, please, mummy, we I have some, you know, she just loves it, takes it off the spoon. I love that. You, so you've trained them well. Um, <laughs> Okay, someone's asking about, yeah, okay, so a 14-year-old who loves Gatorade and Powerade, can you make Ampac taste nice? So, guys, that's a, that's a, you've got to train kids' taste buds. And while you allow a child or you allow yourself to eat or drink, and then that's what they're all, and you're always, and they're always going to go for. So this is the hard road when you've allowed something into a diet next is about removing that um not found to change ever of impact try the impact um, plus I'll as well i mean it's a totally different flavor and your 14 year old might like that better um I, but yeah true. certainly it's it's changing people's taste buds and if if they don't get to try any gatorade for a while then they might suddenly find that they actually do quite like the impact because they notice the difference it has on their ability to to perform so someone who's had breast cancer and hormone related stuff is plus still safe to take ah yes yes that's the one i just answered sorry i got out of order there i only just found the found the list on the chat oh, <laughs> oh, okay. i couldn't seem to get that screen to open uh, sorry it. Um, let me go, where are we at, um, okay, oh gee, okay, 
I was asking about coal and cancer. That's that's getting a dangerous place, isn't it, um, Amanda? Absolutely. Again, as I said before, we don't um, recommend specific supplements for specific conditions because we don't know what your body needs. We cannot measure exactly what your body needs um, except for a very few um, nutrients that um, we can test for in medicine. So what you're wanting is your mother-in-law to stay in remission what she needs for that is her cells to, to be intelligent, her cells to recognise any cancer cells. You know, we all make cancer cells every day, but our immune systems are designed to recognise them and destroy them. Um, so you want her immune system to be able to do that again. So therefore, you take the supplements that give her cells intelligence. Um, I, I'm not guaranteeing at all that that will prevent her recurrences. No, but... The body can heal itself amazingly if given the right nutrition. Um, so you do what you can and you take what you can afford of the, the best supplements out there. And it's also about time, isn't it, Amanda? So it's not just about taking the right amount. I remember uh, Bill Matt, no, Reg McDaniel used to say, take, the pro take as much product as you can for long enough. That's, exactly. That's, that's the thing. You know, if you've had something for 12 years, you might find it takes 12 months to notice a difference. Um, it, it's not going to be overnight. Um, but to encourage you, watch some of the people that talk about this. You know, we've got such incredible people, such as Ben Carson, who have um, taken the Manatech supplements for years, talking on YouTube about his experience with them watch these people and say you know what if it's if it's something that they trust and he has got the incredible um credibility of his profession over many years then um trust them and um give it a go no, and that's the, what's good about nutrition it's not like a drug it's not going to hurt you there is no adverse effects um to taking just nutrition that should be in our food anyway we had a couple of people suggestions about the ants. Make sure you put it in eight mils of water. Totally agree. And what I and Naomi puts it with Amber Toes Life, the the flavored sachet, and it does actually taste really nice. So I actually love Impact by itself. I drink it twice a day sometimes. Um, so I, I love the flavor. Um, and but if you add Amber Toes Life, the sachets, it really is good. And her, her boys drink that. Uh, another person try adding sugar free lemonade, substitute it with soda water until diluted with water. I think that's a great idea. Um, now, Christine has said five, the place to start. Sorry, what was that? Um, is yes. it, is, so the core five is the start. Yes, okay. Yes, that's my personal opinion. That's the, when I started taking Manatech supplements, that's what, um, that's all that existed. So there are so many more out there now that, as I said, if we had all night, we could talk about, we could talk about the, um, the omega um, fatty acid supplements. We could talk about the um, GI Pro with the, the probiotics and um, bacteria for your gut health. I do believe they're all an important part of nutrition. Um, you may find you don't have to take the core five forever. That's not what this is about. But once once your body has detoxed and um, you've improved your basic um, nutrition um, of your body, then you may find that you don't need them all all the time. Um, but start with your core five. If if you feel that gut health is an issue, add your GI Pro. Um, if you feel that brain health is an issue, um, then particularly add your um, omega fatty acids, that sort of thing. Um, there's plenty of information on the Manatech Glycoscience website. Uh, it's called manatechscience.org. Um, that will give you more information. Also, just having a look around the plain Manatech website itself about the various supplements. Um, that's awesome, Amanda. And I'm trying, I think I've figured out my internet thing. So one, the last thing is um, with chemotherapy, if people are currently on chemotherapy, they're okay to still be on, the on any of the products, aren't they? 
They are, yes. Now, that's a, a, a question that requires a, a specific answer. Um, you'll find that your oncologist won't want you taking antioxidants because if you're protecting the cancer cells with antioxidants, then they may not be destroyed with the chemo. So what I always say to people is if you're taking Ambrotose AO, don't take it on the days you're given chemo and maybe the day before and the day after. Um, most chemo has a fairly short half-life in the body. It's not in there for long. It works very quickly. So just avoid taking your, your antioxidant supplements on those days where you're having the chemo and then between, take it again. Um, and you, you will find that it really does improve your immune system's ability to cope with um, avoiding infection, with all sorts of things. So, um, yeah, that's... Someone's asked a question about uh, Ambrotose Life, you know, if price-wise. I always think, guys, if you can't do Ambrotose Life, do Ambrotose Complex. That Absolutely. is your second product, okay? Ambrotose Life or secondary is Ambrotose Complex. And, and buy the bundles. The bundles save you dollars. So, you know, buy your Ambrotose Complex with Plus. If that's all you can afford, if, if you can't get the full swag, start with your Nutrivirus or start with your Ambrotose Complex with Plus on the bundle. Um, one. You know what, Amanda? We are done. You are wonderful. Get back to your children. Thank you. Um, for Ant for being available tonight. Everyone, please say thank you to Amanda for your, her time, her knowledge, her expert, expert, experience, her expertise. Um, it's, Amanda, seriously, uh, that was quite possibly, it would be, it would be the best presentation and Q&A session I've actually experienced in 20 years with Manatech. Oh, uh, <laughs> Thank you, James. Uh, yeah, I shall try and be less tongue-tied next time when I haven't been um, trying to sort a baby out. <laughs> you did great. Well, thank you very much. Good luck and good night, everybody. Have a wonderful night. And thank you again, Amanda. See you. Bye. Bye.